bestowed upon our nation. Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you may deliver us, deliver this nation, even from a debilitated economy. God, we are not crying for any vengeance, but we are crying for mercy. God, you are our shepherd, and thus we shall not be in want. We look on to you, God, and hope in thee that the economy of our nation, the economy of our counties, shall be healed. Father, we pray that you deliver us from poverty, for in poverty you take a not glory. But Lord, when the fullness is come before thy face, the fullness of your creation, Father, you receive glory and honor. Jehovah God, we pray that during this tenure of office of our beloved president, William Ruther, you will release all these treasures to us. That, Lord, at the end of this season, for God, you are the God of seasons, we shall say that Jehovah was with us. Father, we thank you. We pray that you give us resource persons who are able to lead us and to bless us. We pray for our president and his deputy, that, Lord God, as a charge, we cry to you today, that it be praised to be more than kings, but to be leaders of this nation, leading our country to a better economic status. Lord, we pray and declare today that we are not poor as a nation. We are not peckers in this club, but we shall be promoted to be keepers. We shall be promoted to be donors. Lord God of heaven, you put our nation to be renowned in the globe for the glory and the honor of your name. Father, our president, call it your name. And you said, God, if a nation is humble, able to come before you, repenting of their sins, those shall heal their land, heal the nation of Kenya, heal this nation, God. Bestow great wisdom upon the president, upon the deputy, upon all the arms of government, that our nation be lifted, O oh, God of heaven. Father, we lean upon you. We pray, Lord, that God, you are full of knowledge and all wisdom. We cannot exhaust our cry, but you know before we speak. Father, we pray today that your hand of grace be upon the nation of Kenya to lift us to another level. Father, we are not pointing any finger to anyone or against anyone, but we are yielding our hearts to you that you may save us, you may heal us, you may lift us, God, and we shall praise you and honor you. And forever you are God. We declare, O oh God of heaven, the God of Abraham, my second Jacob, that you are the God of Kenya. And thus, Lord, we are before you boldly, knowing that you are our Father. We fear no evil, but you will lead us to greater heights. Bless our economy, bless our nation. We thank you, we bless you, our God. We pray and believe strongly that you will do more than that we have asked thee. O Jehovah El Shaddai, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray and thank you. <clears throat> Reverend Caleb, praying for leadership. I want to thank you, Almighty God, thanking you for so many things, and especially leadership. We want to thank you for the smooth transition of the land, from one leadership to another. Uh, from the first president to the fifth president, your servant, Dr. Samoe Ruta, who is sitting with us today. We want to thank you because leadership is the key to everything. We thank you for this man of God. I want to pray for every, every leadership in the land. I want to pray for every assistant chief. I want to pray for every chief. I want to pray for the uh, SECs. I want to pray for county commissioners. I want to pray for the county government. And I want to pray, Lord, for the national leadership. Praying for every MP. Praying for the senators. Praying for the MCAs, the women rep, 
and every leadership in the land. We bless it, Almighty God. Guide every decision. Guide every policy. Guide everything that is within the government. Solomon one day cried and said, when the visitation of the Lord visited him, and then the Lord requested, what do you want me to give you? And he said, give me wisdom. I am young and inexperienced. And please, oh God, give me wisdom. You have given me to lead such a numerous nation like the children of Israel. Give me wisdom. And in your reply, you said, I'm not only giving you wisdom, I'm also giving you riches. I'll fight your enemies. I'll bless the land. And I give you even what you did not ask. Amen. Bless our leader, Dr. Samuel Ruta with wisdom. As he leads this diverse nation. A nation of 47 tribes. You don't know what others think about, but it requires your leadership. We power blessing upon you, the man of God. The servant of God. We present you before God Almighty Amen. for special anointing Amen. so that the Lord may bless you. Amen. Our Father, in his light leadership, may blessings accompany him. Amen. Even in those neighboring countries, even places, the marginalized places, oh God, give us rain in those places. In a gap, we shall never keep them water. We cannot manage. We cannot even subsidize. We cannot even do so many things for them. In his leadership, oh God, grant him blessings. Bless our marginalized places where we take food, we take, may it rain again Amen. in those borders. Amen. Bless us within our borders. Amen. Give us plenty. Amen. Bless us, oh God, because I pray and trust you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. We are still in a, a mood of prayer. Trusting the Lord to help us in this nation because without God, we can do nothing. My name is Bishop Patrick Soy. We come from Bomet House of Prayer, Kingdom of Flame, here at the junction to, to Bomet, to Kenwick. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, many years as you are in this world preaching and sharing your word, you said, without me, you can do nothing. Kenya, without you, we are an apple. We are helpless. We are vulnerable. We cannot know even how to live with one another. We cannot know how to socialize with one another. But you have said in your word that a nation that fears you brings down righteousness and the life of God to the people. And today, Lord, you are teaching us that when we trust in you, we love you with all our hearts, with all our mind, with all our strength. We can know that and we can become our brother's keeper. Help us in this nation that socially we shall live with one another in harmony, in love. That the 47 uh, tribes in this, for the two tribes in this country, we may learn to live in harmony in love that you will conti continuously fight the vices of evil of hatred and all kinds of bitterness among our people and will root out the problems of tribalism the your excellent the excellent president has brought us together harmoniously that we can learn to live with one another that all the tribes of kenya we live as brothers and sisters that without fighting, we can grow in our economic standards. We thank you, Lord, because you are God in this land. This land has gone to another level. It is a Christian land. It is a God-fearing land through the able president, Dr. William Samuel Ruto. We are so grateful today that we are lovers of God and we are lovers of one another. And this country will never remain the same again because the hand of God is upon this country. You have told us in your word that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin brings shame. 
and in every nation. And I pray in this, in the name of Jesus, that sin will not prevail in this nation, but righteousness will prevail in this nation. We thank you, Lord, because you are here with us. The pastors are going to walk harmoniously. The clergy are going to walk harmoniously. And every other person in this country will embrace one another in the service of the Lord. We thank you because you have heard our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As we continue with our prayers, I'm Bishop Robert Langat from Christ Square Church. Uh, let's pray for the church. Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We bless your name. We glorify you because you are our God and our King. We thank you so much, Jehovah King of glory, because of the church in this nation of Kenya. Your word says, my father, when the Russians are in authority, people will rejoice. We thank you because we are rejoicing as a church in this nation, O oh God. Because, O oh God, of the rulership of the, and the leadership of this nation. We say thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you also as a church, my father, because we prayed, O oh God, in the past elections. And we saw your hand, Jehovah, King of glory. We are grateful and thankful for what you are doing in our midst. We are praying, lifting up your name and glorifying you. We cover the church with the precious blood of Jesus. Thank you because you say in your word that you are building your church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that you continue, O oh God, building your church in the nation of Kenya in the name of Jesus. Unite the body of Christ together that we may move together as one force, O oh my Father. Thank you, Lord, we glorify your name. We just want to bless you and to glorify you. For in Jesus' great name, do we pray and believe. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Bishop. Well, standing now, we want to, want to welcome each and every one of us on our programs. We sing Shakutumaini uh, Sina Ila Damu Yake Buana. Just behind your programs, Nyuma Ya Ratiba Hiyo, Tuimbe Wimbo Huo, Ambao Shakutumaini Sina. Yes. Mm-hmm. Die mwambani salama, die mwambani salama, damu ya kina sadaka, na teke mea jaima, yote chini ya kisha, mwakozi ya nitosha kwa ke yesu na si mama ye mwambani salama ji ye mwambani salama ji ye mwam salama ji ya yango iwe defu ye ye uni kwa wakofu Mawimbi ya kini inga Govo za kendi sonanga Kwa ke yezu si mama Jie mbani salama Jie mbani salama Jie mbani salama Nigehi twa okomoni Rawn 
naomba salama naomba kwa unyenyekevu tuweze ku nafasi ya kuketi kukaa na na karibu Bishop Wilson aendelee Thank you so much Felix I want to thank you just again to continue thank you for this that he has given to us as the clergy the the college bishops in Bomet and also the pastors that are we are very glad to have this wonderful day isi kunjama yenye tumepata siku ya leo your excellency the president your excellency the deputy president uh your honorable national assembly here with us today the mbs the senate and us we are very happy as the church and the class tuko na furaha sana kuwakaribisha Met. Na siku ya leo tukiwa tuna... allow me your excellency to introduce because in a short while we are going to hear the word of god we only like uh introduction of the servants of god that are here today allow me to begin Uh, from the pastors let me request all the pastors wacha ni ruhusu wachungaji wote wa hapa pomet county wote wasimame wacha ni waruhusu wote wachungaji wame vika hachi wacha ni ruhusu mareverence wote wote mareverence na maovasias wengine msimame wenye wako hapa wote tuko hapa tunasema ni asante na Mungu awapariki. Uh, nataka tena ni, ni introduce uh, bishops wote wenye wako hapa siku ya leo wakiongozwa na bishop wetu German. Wacha wasimame sio wengi na au watu ni watumishi wa Mungu mahali hapa. Allow me to only just to mention their names. I'll be saying their names even as they sit, uh, sit down. When I mention your name, you just raise up your hand as you sit. Bishop, we love you and thank you for leading us in this land of Omet. Asante sana. Nataka ni ni ansie German wetu, Reverend Stanley Koech from Osana Restoration. Asante sana. We are uh, tuko na secretary to the uh, treasurer to the college of bishop. Reverend Asante sana. Asante sana from uh, uh, Christ Divine Ministry. Asante sana. Tuko na Bishop na mke wake uh, Bishop Robert Langat from Christo Church na mke wake Nancy Asante sana. Tuko na Bishop Frederick uh, Maritim from PGM Perfection Gospel Ministries Bomet. Asante sana. Tuko na upande huu tuko na Bishop Esron uh, Gorir from AIC Church Asante sana Bishop Gorir Tuko na Bishop uh, Joseph Langant from um, Full Gospel Churches of Kenya Bomet Asante sana Tuko na Reverend Overseer to over 400 churches in HEC Bomet County Reverend uh, Caleb Langant Asante sana Tuko na Reverend B from Maranatha Church, Maranatha Assemblies of Kenya. Asante sana. Tuko tena na Reverend Yekon uh, from HEC Shongira Site, leading over 400 churches of HEC. Asante sana Reverend. Tuko na Bishop Dennis Bet uh, coming from Lion of Judah. Asante sana. Tuko na Reverend Dr. Richard Malel Bishop Richard Malel 
leading uh, full gospel churches in South Rift. Thank you, Sana. And my wife also be, being the secretary of the College of Bishop, leading the Word of Faith churches in Bamet County, Kericho uh, region. Thank you, Sana. We have uh, Bishop Eunice Benson, the wife to Adakala Rotich, uh, Sana Sana. We have Bishop Franco Corir, leading Fountain of Light, Bomet County. Thank you so much. You also have Reverend uh, Joshua Machetti, leading KHE churches in Bomet County, Asante uh, Sana. Tukona Ezekiel Langat, uh, leading Milele Church, Asante uh, Sana. We have one of our visiting bishops that has come to join us from Nakuru, Bishop Nato Rono, Asante uh, Sana. God bless you. We also have in the other side Bishop, uh, Bishop, jo um, uh, uh, Bishop Soy, Frederick Soy, and the wife from Kingdom of Lame. Thank you so much, Bishop. We have Reverend Chelule, the overseer of faith churches in Bomet County. Thank you so much, overseer. We have Bishop D uh, D.K. Langat, David Langat, David Kiprono Langat, leading um, Jesus Focus Church in Bomet County. And far in the other corner, we have Bishop, um, uh, Bishop Ngereji and the wife from King's Outreach. No, not the wife. Okay. Uh, you know, they were very far, so I didn't know. Bishop Ngereji alone there, I, I, I didn't. And we, we, we are grateful. They have come together with, all, with our team. God bless you and God be with you. Thank you so much. So up to there, I, I think I have done the introduction that was deserving. We are very grateful as the College of Bishop to welcome you. We are now going to end at the word, and we want to hear uh, the word of God. Allow me that we, we, we welcome one choir as the servant of God is coming, Denwek. Mission Hospital. Can you come to Nwek Mission Hospital Choir? Rush. Just rush. Utaimba tu stand samoja. Stand samoja.
Nataka tusimame sisi wote tukipokea. Tumeishiwa Mungu siku ya leo. Uh, Honorable uh, Prime Cabinet Secretary, Honorable Musalia Mudavati, uh, the Speaker of the National Assembly, Honorable Moses Wetangula, uh, the Senate Majority Leader, the Governor, His Excellency Professor Hilary Barichok of Bomet County, all the leaders, distinguished guests who are here, the honorable bishops and reverends and pastors, um, waishimiwa uh, washiriki wa kanisa, la Yesu Christo na wanainji wa bomet, na wasalimu nyinyi nyote katika jina la Yesu, buwana asifiwe, happy new year. Uh, jina langu ni askofu uh, Dr. Robert Langat wa kanisa la AGC Kenya na mimi ni kijana wa sehemu hii ndio nimekuja kuchumuika na hao wachungaji uh, kutuletea ibada ya siku ya leo hii ni siku njema na tunashukuru Mungu kwamba umbali huu ametulete uh, nafikiri ni mwezi wa tano wakati kanisa la AGC Kenya uh, tukiwa na ushirikiana na Napani Missionary Church kule Marekani tuliandaa maombi na kwa mara ya kwanza hapa kwa hii sakafu mimi askofu nikiwa kwa hii sutu nilipika makoti kwa kilio na kuomba kwa ajili ya inji yetu Na leo ni kurudi kutoa shukurani. Na na kushukuru rais rafiki yangu kwa sababu ya kuanda aa, na kutualika kama wachungaji. Tushirikiana nawe na serikali yako katika makaundi setu sote za Kenya kutoa shukurani kwa Mungu. Mimi mwenyewe na pamoja na wachungaji wengine maaskofu wa kuu kule Nairobi Tulishuhudia shetani na tena tukashuhudia shetani akishindwa. Amen. Na leo ni kusema shukrani kwa Mungu. Mimi niko hapa na bibi yangu um, Dr. Jane Langat, yeye pia ni msichana wa dunia hii alongisa ako na mimi. Asante mama. Pia nimekuja katika ofisi kuu na Administrative Secretary was Roots from Gapke Social Hapa Nyumbani anaitwa uh, Reverend Raymond Tanuri. Na wachungaji hawa wote uh, viongozi wetu karibuni. I wouldn't want to take my time there has been a special request kwamba tuweze kuongeza lugha ya nyumbani na lugha ya Kiswahili na tutajaribu kufanya hivyo. I had actually prepared my script in English. I would like to invite us today to the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 25 to 29. The Bible says, I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter. My great army, 
which I send among you, you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never again be put to shame. And I am underscoring that verse and the next one where it says, and my people shall never be put again to shame. Verse 27, you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and there is none else. And my people shall never again be put to shame twice. The Lord will pour out his Holy Spirit and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Even on the male and female servants in those days, I will pour out my spirit. Ingoiteten Negia you have to go check it quang in. Agona ole ak mago le lando speak you cooking. Agona ola mi kwenu tab Israel. Agona ola mukta in the wang. Amamiage amago le lando speak you cooking. Ageiba the chatan kotuna rang dinita min mirie nyun big tugul. Agoma o tenweri kwang activi kwak. Ir watin ba ise kwap karwadi tao shek kere mureni kwang angutik. I have four words, Your Excellency, that I would like to share from the text that we read this morning. Atinya nga lagam wan chama chapa ka kwap chikitub che esuru tiena kagiso amane mbetu tabraini. All of them begin with an a P and it ends with an R. It is a declaration from the servants of God from the prophet Joel chapter 2, verse 25 to 29. Number one, prosperity of the land shall be revived. Amen. 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 Number two, the people of God shall be respected. Amen. Amen. Number three, the Pentecostal spirit shall be received. Amen. By the way, you can receive the spirit without being a Pentecostal. Amen. You know, <laughs> number four, the power of vision shall be recovered. Amen. 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 Koga mwago le giger wak betu shek chege gam jere ngende enu chumi ne wang mwao le men oliota boeng koma gola mwago le la du kogen mwago la men awa mwane baso mwago le ngete ngete ne gira ngucho hoba tamir miye ne tilil enbi tugul amen. You know, Your Excellency, the last two years, if you read actually chapter one of Joel, you will see moments of waste, moments of ruin, moments of stripping, moments of mourning, moments of dryness, moments of devastation, and moments of despair. In fact, the Bible says, even the granaries were broken. The Bible says, there were fires that had eaten up everything. 
That description you are hearing of locusts, you know, Nguti nyonyonga kiso man, kiso mani zirutiana nyo excellence yabo aguri ya boy shaka le ito manyo kaso le migo le njin chege kikure en masa ek angu nene. Kwa nafikiria waliano ilena kuomba kwa deputy president, iwa mneno mnene ongu no le migu titi iku ndani ya hii bibilia. And it is a description of a cycle of a destructive insect that destroyed the economy of the nation of Israel. And it happened because of sin that destroyed our whole nation. Ogero, Kenya is a young Jago Gebunu. Kiki Birena is a good chang in the morning for Kenya. Mimi and I have COVID. Kiko Baja get two chacha chang. Kimi Ogo Tiering and Don it Tago Gitago Tiet a morning and Gazarat and Gora. Kiu is a bit. Locust, you know, I have never seen the level of human animal conflict, even in this period of drought. Those of us from this community have been endured and blessed. And I want to thank you, those of us who mobilized and went to Turkana, and they went to Marsabit, and went to, uh, even up to Kuali, distributing food. Because this has been moments of devastation. But... The servant of God from the word of God is declaring today, I will repay you. I will repay you the days, the years, the months that have been eaten up by locusts. And I want to tell us even individually, you may have wasted your life. You may have wasted your resources. Maybe you were planless. Maybe other things, even in this town of Bombay and around our villages, there are things that are eating up our economy, even our family economies. Ogaso biga bo me. Kamwa se ruti ka jo ba kolager walk be tu shek chegi ka am cheng en dead oger walk en ga ne tap jeso. Hilo ni neno la mwa kampia. Kwamba taware che share miaka miesi nyakati ambaso se le maleswa na uyu mnyama. There was, um, I lived in the country of the U.S., many of you know. When I was in school in 1992, I was lonely, and I had no family to go for Christmas. Somebody had to take me from Asbury University in Kentucky to a town called Enterprise, Alabama. So for another one to pick me and take me to my destination, I believe in the western part of that state of Alabama. When I was waiting for my ride, I saw a huge monument in the middle of the city. And later on, the monument was a, a, a large woman holding an insect, a, a weevil, ball weevil, insect made out of a huge bronze in the middle of a whole town. I later on learned that in the city of Enterprise, Alabama, this country or that part of the world was devastated. The economy of cotton, they were relying only solely on cotton. And a ball weevil came between 1910 and 1915 and wept away every resource of cotton. Now, the people had a choice, three choices. Either to leave their city or their town and move to another part of the world, or remain there and starve to death, or change their economy. They decided to change their economy. Pichu, kokiam jerengendet, kan kipto arutake kwam gotar. Kinegi tienge and never pamba. Kogiti lewe no jak somok. Komwe meme nyuango bagachi. Anan. Kolewen kwam rubet koko begeno latane. Anan kolewen kwa yai tuku galak. They decided to plant peanuts. They decided to diversify their economy. And it is said that that particular part of the country really prospered. And the reason why. They prospered, and even the economy went beyond 
the cotton they were depending on. So in 1919, the people of Enterprise Alabama decided that we will build and honor the ball weevil that taught us to change our economy. It is said, uh, His Excellency is a scientist, it is said that that ball weevil monument is the world's only monument to honor an insect pest. <laughs> Your Excellency, you have great hands in our economy. And you are teaching us the digital economy. You are bringing revolution in this country. I hope the men and women of our nation will see it so that we can diversify our economy in ways that you people describe it. I'm not an economist. Number two. The Bible says there, and it repeated, my people shall never be put to shame again. My friends, the social standing of a nation, of any nation, is very important. Have you realized that the nation of Israel took their national pride, their social standing, in an amazing way? They never wanted any community, any Gentile community around them to play around with them. That is why our Netan Gigurin David, King of Telel and Taita, Koliad Nagichom Bilborriet of Israel, Koma Chikolenji, Kia Chinechi, Ta, Nesta, Kender, Kender, Kender Waini, Kender Natan, Mit and Tai. Among him, I'm much a Logoga of Israel. There is a chorus we normally sing. My brothers and sisters, kuna chorus. Kuna wimo huwa tunaimba ni mekukimbilia ewe buwana. Nesi yaibike milele. Amen. Ni mekukimbilia ewe buwana, nesi yaibike milele. Na hivyo ndivyo Kenya iliomba mwakachana. Na kumbuka tukiomba hapa kwa kanisa ingine tukifungua na mwesime wa Isendron. That time, bombers of Kenya was burning. That time it looked like demons had been released. And I cried tears because I knew this brother, by the way, His Excellency is my age mate. Actually, we share two common things with him. He is the fifth president of the nation of Kenya, and I am the fifth bishop. Bishop Kwai said it is a um, it is a season of grace. And I, I was in graduation at Kenya Islands where he stood. On that day, Your Excellency stood, and I had brought my friend, former President Moy, and I wanted him to be the honored guest. 